there's your starter pull cord mechanism. When you pull it, the centre pins come out. Obviously sometimes they don't come out, sometimes your cold board snaps. So you always have to know how to work on them. Let's take it to pieces. So this is a pretty big screw in the centre, it's a PH3 I do believe, or you could use a flat, well I'd recommend a PH3. Now you want to hold it down because there's a spring underneath it, if it comes out it can come out pretty violent so. So you've got a little spring this side, I'll keep the parts so you can see them. And then you got like your, I don't know what you call them, but the swing out and engage with the engine. Another little spring, pretty simple like these to work on. Then you got this spring, I have in the past forgot to put them in, if you don't put that in, them arms won't swing out properly, so that is pretty important. And then obviously I'm going to undo this. Get another screwdriver. So, just be careful when you pull it up because the spring won't come out. It feels like it is going to, yep, the spring's come out. <laughs> Comes out pretty violent. So, there's your spring. Your string. Your uh, Pulley, I suppose you call it, the plate and uh, all the bits. So I'll just uh, put it back together. Pulling the spring back together can be a bit awkward, but once you get the knack of it, it's all right. So it hooks in like that, and then you just have to go around with it, obviously holding it in place. You get a bit of a knack to it. Some people could do it better than me with two thumbs, but I have to do it this way, the easy way. <laughs> Just twirl it in. Sometimes it does that, you have to I'll go backwards now because it's come out. That's it. You want to make sure that's about in the middle like that. Because it has to catch on that little rung. So I'll test it now. So it's got it and it's wheeling in. You feel it springing back. Okay then, I'm going to wind it back. Just do it until you feel that it get tightish. I'm happy with that. Then you gotta try and get the cord hole aligned up with this hole. I find if you just put it back a little bit and then it 
fold back just about in place, not quite. But there, perfectly lined. Now if you get your string, you best to burn the end so you got a point on it. Otherwise this will be hard. Then you have to thread it through the hole and hope that it goes in. Like that. Tie your knot. Same as side, burn the top, burn the end so you got a good point on it. You already want that sticky up. Best to trim that off, but I'm not going to do it on this one. Right, so hold it in the centre, pull your screwdriver, well, hold it solid, pull your screwdriver out, and let it pull all the cord in. And if you've uh, wound it back enough, it should hit the stop. Right, so put your spring in. Make sure it goes on the outside, like that. And then fit your bar in. The 90 degree bit goes down into the hole. So just make sure the spring Don't forget your spring, otherwise it won't work. When you put this in, there's two arrows on it. Make sure they're roughly in line with the pins. Tighten it up and just make sure the pins come out again. That's it.